Welcome. In this course, we are going to cover the topic of digital marketing. Digital marketing is all about getting digital audiences to pay attention to something. What are digital audiences, you ask? Well, anyone interacting with any online platform, be it social media such as Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, any website, search engine such as Google, an app on their phone, an online chat platform such as WhatsApp or Messenger, that person at that moment forms part of a digital audience. A person who is not actively online, that is, not interacting with any web or mobile platform, but receives notifications from any of the online platforms they use, they also form part of an active digital audience. We'll start with digital marketing fundamentals, covering most of the traditional avenues of deploying digital marketing and advertising fundamentals, from web development to email marketing. We will then get into the nitty gritties of the process of designing, planning, and deploying digital marketing and advertising initiatives. We will also go into some of the practical approaches of implementing digital marketing frameworks and initiatives and end off with a case study to demonstrate how to deploy digital marketing in real life. As we said earlier, digital marketing is essentially the act of performing marketing activities that specifically target online audiences. As more and more digital platforms are introduced to automate processes in day-to-day -day life, such as ordering groceries, online banking, getting a ride, and so on, more and more people are spending a lot of their time online. Traditional marketing, on the other hand, more and more people spend time in day-to-day -day life. So in order to reach them, you would go via traditional platforms, such as billboards, um, TV adverts, radio adverts, and so on. We are going to cover the most common types of digital platforms, particularly those that involve the generation, exchange, and consumption of some sort of content, commonly text, video, and audio. There are different types of audiences. Communication platforms such as WhatsApp primarily facilitate one-on-one -on -one communication. You text a friend and they respond. Your messages qualify as text content, unless you do a voice note, in which case that qualifies as audio content. Of course, there are such things as WhatsApp stories and WhatsApp groups. In that case, the communication is one to many, but the many in this instance is a defined group. A defined group is a group of digital platform users that have been defined by the user to consume the user's content or exchange content with the user. You determine who can consume your WhatsApp stories and the admin of your WhatsApp group determines who should be included in that group and if those individuals agree to be included in that group. This is what we call a defined audience. Social media platforms typically facilitate the consumption and exchange of user-generated content. You post your pictures on Instagram or videos on YouTube or TikTok for other users to consume, and they do the same. All the content on these platforms is generated by the user. This is what we call user-generated content. Websites, on the other hand, facilitate the consumption of content generated by the website owner. The content on websites and online stores, for example, is determined by the website or online store. The only time you would find user-generated content on a website is if that website has chat functionality or has allowed comments on their blogs. These comments or chat info entered by users visiting the website then qualifies as user-generated content. Mobile digital platforms and digital destinations also include web and social media, but they also uniquely include other apps. Over and above social media apps mentioned before, they also include apps that perform other functions. 
These include convenience apps such as ride hailing and food ordering apps like Uber, fashion and appliance retail apps such as Take A Lot and Vivian and Ronald, personal finance apps such as banking apps and stock trading platform apps, as well as media consumption apps where users can consume media such as music, video and gaming. Examples of these include Amazon Prime, Netflix, Spotify, Apple Music and so on. Search engines are also a form of digital platform destination for digital audiences. A typical search engine uses user input keyword search, typically supplied by the user in the search window. You put in shoes in your search bar and high rated results for shoes come up on your browser. We'll talk more in later chapters about how digital marketing impacts search results when you search for something on a search engine such as Google, for example. Email is itself a digital platform whose primary purpose is to exchange is the exchange of information, similar to WhatsApp. The type of information is what typically differentiates the two. With advances in mobile app communication technology, the difference between email and mobile social media communications tools such as WhatsApp is narrowing more and more, especially considering that now one can exchange documents via WhatsApp. The ability to modify documents on a mobile device is likely to narrow this gap more and more as more people default to the use of their phones to action day-to-day business-related communication activities. And that's it. We're at the end of chapter 1.1. We will unpack the core digital marketing activities related to each digital platform in chapter 1.2. Thanks for watching.